Welcome back to the channel. I got another 2022 Grand Wagoneer. I'm here at Courtesy Chrysler Dodge Street Ram in Brobridge, Louisiana. And I have one of the salespeople here. Hey guys, my name is Thomas Fant. Uh, if you need any information, give me a call. 318-402-3707. Cool. All right guys, give them a look out. I'm going to try to do a video on an almond green Ram HD2. So be on the lookout for that video. Before I show you guys the Grand Wagoneer, I want to show you the window sticker so you can see what's optional. Now this is a 2022 Grand Wagoneer Series 3. Full wheel drive does come standard. Base price is $104,845. Now this does have that silver zenith. This is a premium color. And it has that new interior color, blue agave. Cannot wait to show it to you. Now really quickly, take a look at some of the standard equipment. Um, be sure to pause it if you want to see more. And on this side, it does continue. And here's some of your optional equipment. Starting off, that option is the Silver Zenith, which is a premium color. And you'll see that in the video when you see the sun hit the color. It looks really good. Has a heavy duty trailer tow package, and you have a lot of good features in here for so for $9.95. Strongly recommend you get this. You get a trailer brake, you get the chrome tow hooks. It also has a removable rear tow hook and a heavy duty engine cooling system too. All weather map package is $395. This does have the rear seat entertainment with the Amazon Fire TV built in at $19.95. And it does have the optional 22 inch machine aluminum wheels too with the black noise pockets for $9.95. Destination is at $2,000 with a total price of $111,820. And here's some of your powertrain warranty and then here's some of your fuel numbers on the side. Bye guys. I finally found a Grand Wagoneer. You can kind of see the writing on the side there. I've hadn't had a good luck finding these. These are really hard to find. They sell really quickly, but I can really tell the difference between a Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer now because I've seen so many Wagoneers. And the headlights, the grill up front, even the fit and finish on the fog lights are just totally different on this too. I mean, look at the attention to detail on the grill. I mean, this is just next level. I mean, even like the accents, like a, like a bronze color, looks so good. I mean, this one does have the radar cruise control, adaptive cruise control, whatever you want to call it. This one has the tow hooks. And it has like these three rings around the fog lights too. It's, it's really, really, really top notch. And on the headlights, you have a dual beam projector. These are going to be LED. And you do have like a black trim piece on the bottom that runs all the way out back too. This one was optioned with the 22 inch wheels. These are going to be Goodyear tires. And this is an upgraded wheel too. Look at the attention to detail even on the wheel. This one does have 1100 miles. The owner was driving this one. And that wheel is driving in 25, 45, 22. And they do put a sensor right here on the side too. So if you're going into your garage, it will pick up on that. And really quickly, I wanted to show you the lights illuminated. So you do have two projectors. This one's really used for like maybe like signs because it doesn't have like that much light coming out of it. And it's going to be for high beam. And you do have those reflective style fog lights below. As far as your turn signals go, they do have like a cool like switchback to it. And here's high beam. And up front, this is gonna be your night vision. Now I know a lot of people don't like the overall design of this, but this is a unique SUV. So it does have a unique styling. I do like how it does taper off out back. See how it kind of goes up there and how the window flows with it? Looks really good. And I don't know, maybe, it looks like the front window is tinted. I don't know if the dealership tinted it. Maybe they did. But it does match the rear glass too. And as you guys can see on the mirror, they do have a turn signal right here. They also have a camera. So this is gonna have a 360 camera. And notice how this like platinum design goes over the windows. And it does flow up here on the roof rails too. And when you open the door, this just looks like a trim piece, but it's actually a part of the running board too. And they're really big running boards. 
You do have a smart key system for the front door and for the rear. And they do have lights too inside the door handles. This is going to have that four corner air suspension too. And another major difference from the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer is the tail lights as well as if you saw in the headlights and the grill. It's definitely a different design there. And as you see, they do have a camera here. This is going to be for the rear view mirror, and then this is your backup. And it does have a, a sprayer for it too to clean it off. And it actually has one for the high definition rear view mirror too. They do hide that class four receiving hitch, and it does have dual exhaust too. And here's a better look at this silver paint. It is an upgraded color too, like so if you want this color, you have to pay extra for it. But it looks really good in the sun. I really like how the this platinum uh, trim piece collides with the silver too. It looks really good. One thing I didn't mention on the mirrors is they do have a convex on both sides. Blind spot monitoring. Wow. Now we gotta take a look under the hood and see what type of powertrain this uh, Wagoneer has. Before I show you guys the engine, check out this plaque that they give you under the hood. Born in America, designed and built in Michigan. Now, this is an old power plant, and that is a good thing because this 6.4 liter V8, which is naturally aspirated, is going to be reliable. They've been using this in the heavy duty trucks for a while now. It is made it to an 8 speed transmission, and it is putting out 470 horsepower, 455 pound feet of torque, and it's a strong power plant. I mean, this is probably going to be one of the more reliable engines. It does have MDS, which is multi displacement. And that's going to allow it to run on four cylinders if you're just cruising at highway speed. So that's going to give you better fuel economy too. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the interior because this interior color is really amazing. I didn't like it online, but now that I see it in person, you got to check it out if you do have a chance to see one. As I mentioned, at first I did not like this interior color, but now that I'm able to see it in all of its glory, this is just amazing now. You see how you have like that bronze color? As you saw on the, like on these emblems, you see that? It basically matches the outside of the truck. So I love that they did that. It's really good attention to detail. But let's take a look at this door card. Now, normally you have like a hard plastic down below here. This is all wrapped in like a leather vinyl type material. We'll call it leatherette to so make it sound better. But all this is soft touch, which is very rare to see on any car. Of course you have that leather upholstery up top here in all the right spots. Bold wood trim pieces inside of here. Piano black, which really does like pop well inside of here. All of your seat controls are gonna be on the door. They're normally down below here. And that's kind of an uh, upgrade you get with the Grand Wagoneer. It has like that high class look too. And again, this interior color is just, I love it. I, I gotta have my wife come over and check this out. I think she would like this interior if she saw it in person. Is this something different? Yeah, it looks really good. And this has screen, 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 screen. I mean, there's screens, screen. <laughs> I mean, there's screens everywhere in this thing, everywhere. And it's really, and I mean, if you want, I mean, that's, this is a heads up display. That's kind of a screen too, if you think about it. When you close the door, let's listen for it. it has that genuine Jeep sound. You do have a two spoke steering wheel. So it's really comfortable to control this bad boy with just one hand on the steering wheel. You do have a self driving system on this too, but all automatic windows up and down, front and rear. And just a, little, a few more aluminum trim pieces leather wrap grab handles i mean it just goes on and on if that's not enough luxury for you they decided to give you alcantara or suede whatever you want to call this on the headliner too so again this is just a high quality top-notch 
in tier. So when you see $111,000, this is a better Escalade. I don't care what anyone says. I've sold Escalades. I love the Escalade. It's a great SUV. I think the Lexus LX570 is a little bit better, personally. But this is a high quality SUV. And I think that you can't really truly compare this with a Escalade unless it's the top trim level. So, <clears throat> I like all these screens for the most part. If you were to get a Wagoneer, you don't have this as even an option. But you can pop this up and it will expose all your USBs. Uh, you have a, a wireless charging station down below. Power plugs, HDMI for the passenger. There's two, four uh, Type A, Type C USBs and then you have two more for the rear. And this is the only button down below. Everything else is kind of like a, it's like it vibrates when you push it. Really cool, it's a nice little accent for this. Here are some of your driving modes and you do have air suspension right here. Now, I'm gonna take you back up here. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. I really wanna show you this interior color. Let me close this uh, screen so you have a better view of it. But this is gonna be a 10 and a quarter inch screen and it, it has a lot of good information in here. We won't take too much time. But if you are the market, this is a, a lot of lot to learn. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. You're gonna take some time and get in here and, and probably spend at least an hour just kind of going through all this stuff to get a good feel for it. But it's not hard. I wanna make sure you understand this is not a hard system to use. It just, once you kind of figure out the buttons you need and the information you want to see it it becomes really easy but this button i just push here this is like a quick menu so you can go through some of the stuff you want to see a little bit quicker as i mentioned you do have a heads up display you can see it right there and over to the side here let's go to home you can set this up however you like they have what's called pages down below you can add delete whatever you want to do you can swipe it to the right go to media you have, of course, your XM radio. You can have Bluetooth audio. With the Apple CarPlay, it is wireless now, so you don't have to plug in anymore, although I prefer to be plugged in because your phone dies so fast, but comfort. And it shows you everything here. You have your seats, massage. One thing I'll say is they kind of giving you two ways, actually three ways to control your climate. You have it. Right here, you do have some buttons, which is always nice. I prefer buttons over the screen sometimes. And you have this down below. So if you want, you could always leave it on the seats. You have the heated and cool seats here. You have your, as I said, these are your for your seats. You have the controls for it. I would probably leave it on massage, realistically. Massage, you have the seat temperature control right there. And then if you want to control your climb, you have that. So you can have your navigation on the main screen. You have your heated and cool seats on the side. And then you have your massaging seats down below. So you have everything you need. So you're not fumbling through this whole system here. So I like that they do that. You can also turn this screen off by pushing a button. And same thing goes up top here. I'm not going to act like I know how to do it. But we're going to show you where to find it at. All right, so it took me a second to find it. So it's right here. So the button is right here. If you just wanna just dim the screen down. All right, now if you push this button, I'm gonna hit the screen again. If you push this button, this will turn off your audio and the screen completely. So just keep that in mind, all right? So let's go ahead and move over to this side and I'm gonna show you guys the seat controls, which will be the same for the driver and the passenger, okay? So on the passenger side, you still have the same nice design. And look at all the seating controls. So this is gonna control the headrest, you see that? It goes in and out, up and down. You also have lumbar support right here. Now check out where it's moving at too. See that? moving the top piece here that was this button here this is going to control the entire chair and 
And then you also have this long piece. It's gonna move the chair forward and back. It's gonna control the front part of it and the back part of it. And this button's gonna adjust the support for your legs. Which is, again, this is just next level stuff. You have two seat memories and then you can adjust massaging seats on the door too. Now, if you step inside, you have this screen. There is a button down below that will turn the screen on and you can set up like navigation and then it will actually swipe over here and then the driver can accept it. And then if you have a, you know, fire stick, whatever at home, you will know how to use all this, but you can pretty much have Bluetooth headphones hook up to your music. You can hook up to uh, an HDMI as you guys saw in this cover here and literally play everything off of this screen. So it's really cool, really interesting and very user friendly, I think too. The good news is you can't see the screen from the side, so it isn't gonna be an issue for the driver if they wanna look over at your screen. I didn't mention it earlier, but you do have the Macintosh speakers. Really, really nice sound system. It does illuminate Macintosh here on the side too, on the speaker grills. All right, so check out the back. If you thought that the front was more luxurious, it, it's really not. So you have those same like features that you saw on that screen above, up front, right here. So if you have the remote control, you can pretty much go through here and set this up. They give you the LED interiors throughout through the front and rear. And then check out this huge center console for the second row. As I mentioned, you are a little bit more luxurious back here. And just check out this interior color. It's not blue. I don't even know what to call this. This is, it's just a different color. I would love to see how well it holds up over time though. I mean, these seats are real leather, but I'm, I like the contrast with this wood trim. You can get aluminum if you don't like the wood color. And I think that would look good with this interior too. But center console, you have your own climate control. You have heated and cooled seats back here. If you want to turn the screen off, you can do so very easily. If you turn this on, you have your climate controls. And it's dual, so this has four zone climate. Let's keep that in mind. You have a space here. There's those remote controls. So they give you two remote controls for each uh, screen here. And then this does pop up to give you even more storage. I didn't mention this up front, but you do have a cooler box. So this is a little storage area here. And then inside of here, there's a cooler box. You see that button? It's like a little, it's like a little crystal for like ice that turns it on. I'm sorry I'm all over the place. Like I, uh, I got really excited when I saw that this was this interior color. But even out back, they do a leather wrap for the grab handles as you saw up front even on the side here this really good attention to detail they give you the air vents on the side and that's going to help with overall uh just headroom too and one thing i noticed and i'm going to do a video on this is the height difference between the grand cherokee l and the wagoneer and grand wagoneer so if you want more headroom i would strongly recommend you get the Wagoneer or Grand Wagoneer. Now out back, you do have a small fixed sunroof. This does not open, but we are gonna climb back here. But before we do that, I wanna show you guys what this is. So this is the fam cam. Actually it's called a rear seat monitoring camera, but technically it's a fam cam on the Grand Cherokee L, but they're more luxurious on the Grand Wagoneer side. So basically, you can see what's going on with the rear occupants, especially if you have like young kids, you know, if they're hitting each other, you can turn this on to make sure they're not lying to you of who's really hitting each other. And yeah, this is a really good feature that they added to the Grand Cherokee L and now the Wagoneer brand. But let's go ahead and jump back to this third row seat. And I'm gonna show you guys the trunk and then I'm gonna show you the payload and that'll pretty much effectively end this video. This seat does fold flat if you need it to. And if you hit the button up here, it will it will scoot forward as you see, so you can get back here. You can drop these seats 
out back to you by pushing a button. And they will actually even go back up for you too by pushing the same buttons. Now as you guys can see, I'm in the third row now with the fam cam. So you can see that camera right there. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm all, I'm all like zoomed in. I can't show it to you right now, but yeah, it's right there. And there's a lot of space out back. Now this seat on this side is all the way back. And you have tons of storage in the rear. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on? Oh, nothing. And he's gonna actually show us this green truck next too, so stay tuned for that video. But uh, out back here, you can control the seats with power. You have USBs, you have a Type A and a Type C, and you do have air vents on the side. And that's pretty much it back here, guys. Now out back, you do have a cover for the rear too. I haven't actually seen one yet, but this is the cover that goes over the back. And this kind of goes into the slits on the side. You can preset the tailgate at certain areas so you don't damage it in your garage. And they, they give you some hooks on each side. Power plug. And this is how you would drop the seats too. And notice how they have this carpet on the side. Notice how whenever you have like a lower trim or a cheaper SUV, they'll have plastic here. Well, this doesn't damage as easy as plastic, so I'm glad that they actually did this as opposed to putting a lot of plastic out back. And even on the back of the seat, you have some fabric material too. A lot of storage out back here too. And there is an area below here too to store a few things. As far as numbers go, you do have a gross axle weight rating up front at 3,900 pounds. You have a 4,500 pound rear gross axle weight rating. This does have a high gross field weight at 7,700 pounds. And all in, payload capacity is going to be 1,361 pounds. But hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon.